NASA scientists are starting to study the data brought back by its Artemis mission around the moon. The Orion space capsule landed in the Pacific Ocean on Sunday and was recovered by a special ship. Here is BBC science expert Rebecca Morell with more. After a million mile journey through space, our blue planet comes into view. It's time for the Orion spacecraft to come home. With images taken from the capsule just after it entered the Earth's atmosphere, Orion has travelled faster and hotter than any space vehicle has done before. The spacecraft about to go subsonic. A series of parachutes open, rapidly slowing the capsule down. Three good main chutes for Orion. And there it is, high over the Pacific, America's new ticket to ride to the moon and beyond now in view. Then splash down. The Artemis mission is complete. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Artemis One. The mission blasted off in November on the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built. And over the course of 26 days, it performed a close flyby of the moon twice, capturing stunning images along the way, revealing remarkable detail of the lunar surface. The capsule also flew far beyond further than any spacecraft built for humans. No people were on board this time. It's a test flight. Instead, mannequins covered in thousands of sensors recorded data from the voyage. And this is vital, because the next step is to get astronauts on board and eventually land them on the moon. We can have a look inside Orion's capsule to see what it's going to be like for the astronauts when the rocket eventually does have a crew. At five metres wide, that's more than 15 feet, it is big. It can accommodate four people inside. In fact, there's more than twice as much room as the Apollo astronauts had for their missions to the moon in the 1960s and 70s. Uh, Roger on that. We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. It's 50 years since astronauts were last on the moon with Apollo 17. Their footprints are still preserved in the dust. No one thought it would take so long to return, but now others may soon be making their mark, as the moon is within humanity's sights once again. <laughs>